Man, I'm hungry. Guess I'll need to figure that out from here on out. <laughs> Run! Now! Oh, gotcha now. I'll kill the both of you! Time to show some spine! Go on! Run while I keep him! Hey! Are you okay? They're safe now. But sounds like I made them cry. Man. So what? Do I just lay here and die? Uh, I don't recognize this ceiling. Huh? Is this a hospital? I know I help some people, but is a fancy private room like this really necessary? Huh? Uh, Master Kain! Kain? Kain? Do you recognize your mother? Uh, I think you got the wrong. <gasps> Master Kain! Uh, 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 who is that? Uh? Are you alright? Do you remember who you are? Don't worry. He's probably just confused, madam. He has been asleep for a week after all. Yes, that's a good point. Mm. Uh -uh. Your fever's definitely gone down, but you should rest a bit more. Oh, that's right. You must be starving. A little bit of soup and you'll be as good as new. Sylvia? Of course. I'll bring some right away. <laughs> now you just rest until it gets here, okay? Excuse me. Who were those two? Sylvia? And my mother? Why do I look like that? Wait! Is this some white novel reincarnation thing? So that means... I didn't survive the injury, did I? But I did save those curls at least. Well, what's done is done! If I've been reincarnated, I need to know what I'm dealing with here. I'm not gonna let any weird in-world shenanigans get the best of me. <laughs> Master Kain, your soup is... <gasps> ah! Master Kain! Did she wet the bed? In that case, <gasps> up and down. <gasps> I know it's okay. Nobody's angry. Bye-bye! <laughs> Gotta stay strong. <laughs> Just walk it out. Yummy, isn't it? Yeah, your sense of taste is coming back. She's white. It's a bit weak, but I can tell there was meat and vegetables in there. Uh, uh, it's so good. Wonderful. I'm glad to see you eating so well, young master. All right, then. Uh, 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 pat, 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 pat. 
Hey, what's up, Bo? I know, I know. But we've got a burpee before bed. You're trying to burp me? Just how old am I? Bear, it's okay. <gasps> I'm a white, I swear! Sheesh. Not sure how I feel about her trying to put me down for a nap. But she certainly gave me a lot of answers. First of all, my name is Kain von Silford, and I'm three years old. My father is Gal, and my mother is Sarah. I have a sister named Wayna, who's two years older than me. Sawa is Gom's second wife. The name of his first wife is Maria. There's also Dean and Alec, the two sons she had with my father. That makes me Kain, Gom's third and youngest son. Gom is a high-ranking noble, a Magwe with his very own army. It's his responsibility to protect the realm's borders against foreign invaders. And to the south of Gracia, the part of the kingdom of Esbert that Lord Garm oversees is the forest of monsters. Really? There are monsters? Yes, but you don't need to worry. The adventurers... Oh, wow! Adventurers, too! That's right! They defeat the monsters for us. Do they fight with swords and magic? Of course. Some of them specialize in magic. No way! That's so cool! Oh, man, I want to try using magic, too! Take a little while, so maybe try learning how to write first, okay? Okay! Uh, when I heard this world had magic, I made up my mind to live my life here. You see, in the world I left behind, my last living relative, my grandpa, had just died. I was living alone. There was nothing left for me to go back to. What? Cain's able to write? Yeah, and that's not all! He can already do math and other stuff, too! <laughs> That's fantastic! It's not like I can tell him this tiny body has the mind of a high schooler in it! Perhaps our little boy is secretly a genius, darling! No, really! It's just that Sylvia is so good at teaching! <laughs> Master Cain! <laughs> but why the sudden interest in studying? You have seemed a little different since the fever. <laughs> a divine revelation, perhaps? <laughs> Respectable and wise, too. I have three sons and only one estate, so you will have to make your own path in life. Then, if you'd allow it, I'd like to start reading books on magic in the kingdom's history, too. Go right ahead. Really? You're interested in magic, Kain? Huh? I don't think you're quite ready to use it yet. You have to be baptized first, like me. Baptized, huh? Yep. That's right. You'll need to wait until you turn five. But you can begin by reading the basics. Okay. Oh, and remember, magic takes time. I guess that's true. No, I got it! Something wrong? Uh, just talking to myself! Okay. Oh, wow! That was magic, wasn't it? How come I can use it? Doesn't matter. It's a white novel fan's dream come true! Okay, let's try this again with a little wag. Ah! so long. He's going to be late. I'm here. Huh. <gasps> My apologies. Oh, he looks so cute. Handsome is the word I would use. He's definitely my son. Have I changed that much? Oh yeah, you're five now. You're such a big boy these days. <laughs> you better not get too big though. <laughs> Mother, father, thank you for everything. 
everything. I'm ready to be baptized. You've been looking forward to this day for so long. All right. First a baptism, then a debut. Let's get to it, shall we? Right! <gasps> I can't believe I'm finally seeing it! The alternate world I dreamed about in my past life! Old architecture, soldiers, monsters, and if that wasn't enough, it has magic too! Huh. By the way, Reyna, tell me what's it actually like to be bestowed with status magic? <laughs> I can show you! Look, status open! Huh? So this is how it looks, huh? Uh, what does a door of Kayin mean? <laughs> Nothing! Did you see it? It's all. Reyna here was granted level two protection by the god of magic. Protection? Level? Yes. Magic and protection are attainable in levels one through five. The higher the level, the higher the user's natural aptitude is. Protection is a useful thing that determines how much magic is needed to activate a spell, and it affects skills as well. Whoa! Where'd protection come from? A god gives it to you. A god? That's right. Here in this kingdom, we practice the Marine Fort faith. That is, we give worship and offer praise to seven pillar gods. The point of this ceremony is to inform those gods that you've reached five years of age. Interesting. So that's what my baptism's for. I hope you get lots of protection and magic from the gods too, Cain. My lord, <laughs> we will now commence the ceremony of baptism. Cain von Silford, the seven pillar gods of the Marine Ford faith welcome you on this your blessed fifth birthday. Will you choose to embrace them? I will. Gods who created this world and watch over us, I inform you that this child, Cain von Silford, has reached the age of five. By your grace, I beseech you to show him the path he is to walk. What is this radiant light? Ah! <laughs> where am I? The world of the gods, where we the seven gods reside. It is good to see you, Cain. No, Kazuya Shina. Ah! An in-person meeting with the gods is part of the baptism? Why didn't anybody let me know? <laughs> I am Zenum, god of creation and the creator of this world. Really? I thought he was just some weird old dude in a costume, but he's a god? Incidentally, <gasps> since I'm a god, I can hear everything you're thinking. <sighs> now, the matter of your reincarnation. If you would be so kind. I am known as Rhyme, the god who governs both death and the cycle of rebirth. In truth, your untimely demise was actually a mistake. <laughs> You perished while attempting to protect two young girls, yes? Gotcha now! I'll kill the both of you! Time to show some spine! Your actions were unnecessary, because you see, the criminal would have tripped and been restrained by passers-by. Wait, you're telling me that I wasn't even needed and I threw my life away for nothing at all? I'm afraid so. Uh, but that was my opportunity to make a difference in the world! You did, because of your death at his hands. That criminal was charged with murder. Rhyme, surely there is a better way to convey this to him. Apologies. But take heart, your death was in the service of a good deed, after all. And it was for this reason that the God of Earth requested that I reincarnate you in our world. It was considered a good deed, then? Also, as I thought mercy and diaper changing would cause too much mental trauma for you, I had intended to suppress your memories. But for some reason, you recalled them. Forgive me. Uh, no, don't apologize. In fact, getting my memories back helped me with magic and gave me an edge in learning how to write. It also gave me the perspective to embrace my new family, to truly appreciate my parents and sister. So really, I owe you a debt for leaving my memories with me. Astute. I like this one. I'm Reno, god of magic. I understand you've been practicing, haven't you, Cain? I grant you my protection, so continue to study. Ah, yes. I also grant you my protection. 
After all, our paths are bound to cross again. They are? I'm Sarnos, God of War. Please remember to work on your sword skills and martial arts, too. Do all of this and I'll grant you my protection as well. Grow strong like me. Ah, Grim, God of Technology also blessed you. This world is light on entertainment. So feel free to use knowledge from your former life as long as you show restraint. I'm God of Commerce, Panam. With my protection, you'll be at liberty to access both item box and judgment. I hope they serve you well. And finally, there is my protection. I am known as Bella, the God of Earth. And my blessing is somewhat unique, Cain. But I'm sure if you experiment a little, all will become clear. Thank you all so much! Well, it uh, seems our time is up. You will find our protection has taken effect once you return. Right! Farewell, Cain. Until next time. <laughs> Are you okay? What is it? Oh, I've never seen the statue shine so bright! Perhaps he's been favored with a great many protections. Well, Cain, will you show us your status? Huh? I have a bad feeling about this. I'm sorry. My stomach's suddenly not feeling very good. Uh, Cain, where are you? Cain! Status open. Oh, God! I can't let them see my stats this high! Ten, 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 ten! Military marshals, item box, all ten! Protections! God of creation, ten! God of life, ten! God of magic, ten! God of earth, ten! God of war, ten! God of technology, ten! God of colors, ten! What the heck are those gods playing at? The highest level is only supposed to be five, right? So this is what he was laughing about. Oh, crap, I have to hide this. I'd never be able to explain it. If only there was some way I could keep it hidden from them. <gasps> I made it so you can create magic, too. You might want to try using status conceal. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much, God of Creation. Activate status conceal. Apologies. Is your stomach feeling better? Yes, it is. Thank you. Sorry to make you worry. Now then, let's celebrate Cain's fifth birthday. Happy birthday, Cain. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> <sighs> I'm still curious. What do you suppose that light was during the baptism ceremony? That certainly didn't happen when I was a child. Nor did it happen with Reyna. Cain, were you able to check your status? I was! And I think the gods were quite generous with me, Father. Good. Why don't you show us? Sure! So this is what my status looks like! Huh? <gasps> it can't be! You have the protection of the god of creation and every god of the marine fort faith! And your magic stat is astronomical! Crap! I thought I fixed that! Palace mages have only around 10,000! While you possess this much at only five? You have item box and judgment, too! No matter what job you choose, you'll be guaranteed success. That's amazing, Cain! It's beyond amazing. But oh. never show this status to anyone else, Cain. While very promising, it could be construed as a threat to the very kingdom. If this were known, you could be placed under state supervision. <sighs> Sebas, Sylvia, do not breathe a word. And for the love of the gods, hide this during the debut. I will. <sighs> an average status anyway. Hmm? What's this? A book on summoning magic? I wonder if I'll be able to summon some fluffy animals. Huh? Yes, please. Just the thought of it soothes my soul. Sylvia won't be around for a little while, right? <laughs> now summon! Hey, my call! Come fluffy! I wish I'd gotten the chance to touch them. But this is all I can do. 
isn't it? Sorry, I keep making people cry. What now? Am I just going to die again? Closed, open, closed, open. I'm alive? <gasps> oh, my goodness, you're okay! Does it hurt anywhere? I'll go get Father! <gasps> Don't worry, I'm fine! You promise? Yeah. I'm sorry for frightening you. I'm so glad! I was scared that I'd lost you for good, Kai. Those girls, they were crying because of me. But Reyna, she's smiling. Thank you, Reyna. My sweet dying! Maybe, in this world, I can help people find their joy again. <laughs> With the help of all those gathered, I've safely reached my fifth birthday. But I'm still young and have much to learn. So I hope I can continue to count on your guidance and counsel in the years ahead. Cain, as you are my third son, your future is yours to choose. And so I ask you this. Do you know what it is you would like to do? Yes! What I desire is to see many places! To learn many things! To help those in need and to meet all kinds of new people! And so, to that end, and to protect all the smiles before me, I'm gonna be an adventurer! <laughs> certain that was wise to bestow him with such high protections actually that may not be enough it's imperative that he become the strongest in the land what's more he must accomplish this noble feat by the age of 16 for I fear the day will soon be upon us the day when we will need him onward master Kain next episode my tutors or adventurers Hooray!